All right, let's talk about um, diodes. So I have a 1N4000. I think this is a 4001. Uh, yeah, 1N4001, the 4002, 4004, 4007, they're just voltage ratings, um, but they're all about the same. So this is a, a very common part, 1N4001. And we'll do a diode check on it with our meter here. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and turn on the uh, backlight, I think. Yeah, there you go. You can see it better. So I'm going to hook up the diode checker and it says, oh, look at that, 0 0.57, 0 0.58, 0 0.58 volts forward voltage, right? And so you say, okay, great, I'm going to design my power supply and uh, I'm going to have a bridge rectifier so I know that I have to account for about 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.6 volts of drop uh, because of the diodes. So I, I, I'm going to put that in my factor and everything, right? And I've got a one amp, one amp power supply. All right. So uh, let's go over here to the curve tracer. And let me get this set up so it photographs well. All right. So let's get the uh, point adjusted here. Okay. So I'm going to put in my, I'm going to put in my diode here. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to turn it on. Uh, we can ramp the, ramp the current up. Let's see this back down right by here. Okay, so up like this. So that's a diode. And um, uh, we are at a one milliamp per division. So there's one milliamp, two milliamps, three milliamps. For it. So we see the forward voltage here, okay? And so uh, in this direction, we're at 100 millivolts. So uh, 100, 200, 300, 400, 0.5 volts, okay? And we're up here right where we cross one milliamp is about 0.58 volts, okay? So our diode checker on our um, multimeter was measuring by forcing one milliamp of current and then measuring the voltage that you get, okay? Well, one milliamp's not very far, uh, not very close to one amp. We're gonna be running here up to one amp, right? So let's go ahead and change our, um, scale. So now we're at a hundred milliamps per division. Let's go out and we'll get to, uh, we'll go out to here to a hundred milliamps. Okay. At a hundred milliamps, we're out at about uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, about 0 0.77 volts. Right. And, but we're at one amp, right? So we need to go all the way up to the top to get to one amp. So there at the top is one amp and it's measuring about 0.9 volts. And so our little diode checker checked at one milliamp, but we're gonna actually be using it at one amp. So um, you need to be aware of this, is that uh, diodes aren't straight lines, right? They have some, some uh, resistance to them and the curve's gonna be bent over. And so uh, a checker like this can do high currents, right? So I can check this at, at uh, something, like, uh, something like, like one amp, okay? Let's uh, let's try a different uh, a different diode. Okay, I'm going to put a diode in over on the left socket, and let's run it. And we can see that at one amp, it's only about 0.33 volts. Um, it's a Schottky diode, which is really really nice. Um, so let's see what it does at the one milliamp range. Uh, oops, right there is one milliamp. See, it? at one milliamp, this is only about 0 0.12 volts, okay? So let's t try that on our diode checker. See what kind of voltage our diode checker gives us. Go back over here. Um, back to the diode checker, turn on the backlight. Yeah, 0 0.12 volts. You go, wow, 0 0.12 volts, that's great. <laughs> Shockies are really, really nice. Okay, so let's come back uh, to our tester. I'll put it in the test fixture and we will run it up to one amp like we did before. Uh, so here's one amp, it's 0 0.33 volts, but this is a three amp, this is a three amp uh, device. Well, let's go to three amps. Uh, so I'm at now one amp per division, one amp, two amp, 
I'm bottoming out two and a half amps. I need I need a little bit more current here. There we go. Whoa, popped it way up. One amp, two amps, three amps. There's four amps. Look at that. But see, it's very very resistive now. So we've gone from one amp. It was about 0.33 volts. At two amps, it's about 0.36 volts. And at three. Uh, three amps, it's about 0.4 volts. And so uh, that's where these, where these tests come, come in handy. You can test it very, very high currents. Okay, let's uh, go back to 0.5. And now 0.5, here's one, one amp, amp and a half, two amps, two and a half, three. And we'll write it 0.4 volts. I can even change this over. Um, even get it a, a better, a better. So this is 50 millivolts. So here's 100, 200, 300, 300. So anyway, you get the idea. So I've got my machine uh, mostly calibrated. Uh, it's spent about three hours calibrating it. But one of the things that I've done, I need to put the, the covers back on it. One of the things I did was I found on Thingiverse um, uh, somebody who had uh, 3D files for uh, shielded shields for the uh, for different tech oscilloscopes. They had a whole range of tech oscilloscopes, and they had a they had a uh, 576. So I printed this out. It took a long time to print, um, but uh, yeah, it fits great, and uh, it will keep uh, keep some of the glare off of the uh, off of the screen here. So that was. That's pretty close. You can find this over on Thingiverse. Mm.